every day can be a better day despite the challenge all you gotta do is leave it better than you found it morning students and staff welcome to horace man video news today is monday november 21st 2022 my name is alex please stand and join me for the pledge of allegiance I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's head over to Henry for our delicious Monday lunch menu. Today's lunch is a grilled chicken sandwich, broccoli, mandarin oranges, and milk. Gobble, gobble! Today will be cloudy, windy, and 44 degrees. The rest of the week, including Thanksgiving, will be partly cloudy and around 40 degrees. Now over to Alex and Henry for this week's birthdays. Monroe Roberts, Leland Booth, and Avery Gibbons all celebrate birthdays this, this week. Happy birthday and best wishes to all. What is your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving? Mine's mashed potatoes. The very first Thanksgiving meal shared by the European settlers and the Wampanoag tribe did not look much like what we eat today. The foods on their table did include turkey, but they also ate deer meats and lots of seafood, including eel. Sadly, there are no potatoes and no pumpkin pies at the first harvest feast. Throughout history, people have come up with new ways to communicate. In addition to spoken language, early Native Americans communicated through sign language or hand talking and pictographs or drawings. Native American tribes all had slightly different spoken languages, so these other ways of communicating were helpful. Hand, talk hand talking also allowed English settlers and explorers like Lewis Clark to, communi to communicate to the Native Americans. The biggest thank you to give as you celebrate Thanksgiving is to Native Americans. Native Americans shared their knowledge, food, and other resources with early European settlers who came to this land, and they asked nothing in return. Without Native Americans, the settlers would not have survived. Thanksgiving as a holiday is based on the Native American idea of giving without expecting anything in return. Giving thanks is a big part of Native American culture and heritage. The Native American community gives thanks for every part of nature, for the families and ancestors, and for humankind. Native Americans celebrate being thankful at many festivals, feasts, and important times during the growing and harvesting season, not just on Thanksgiving Day. Now it's time for our best book. Each of us would like to share a book with you that we love and tell you a little bit about it. My book is The Only Road. It's a really heartfelt story, and if you like adventure thing stories, you would like it. My book of the week is Wings of Fire number 11, The Lost Continent. I love this book because each arc Splits between, splits between the five books, and it has LGBTQ representation. So if you love dragons or fantasy in general, I recommend this book. I chose Lost in the Pacific 1942 because it is a fascinating true story about bomber planes. Wow, these are some good books. Joke time! Why, why doesn't the turkey duck not want to go? I don't know. Why? Because you were stuffed. Stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in for today's Horace the Man News broadcast. This is Henry, Alex, Ainsley, and Lily. Have a wonderful world-class week and a warm, thoughtful Thanksgiving. Be, be kind, be curious, be you. The, the news is in and we're out.